And think about it, if you get a ring. I mean, even if even if Listella wants to go home to New Jersey and open a bar, you can do that once you have as to... a member of the World Series Cubs. Right. Yeah. Yeah. the yes. Cubs. Yeah, what are you now? What are you? But I mean, if you, what, you, what, what are you? If you what are you? If you just leave right now, nothing. You're the guy that walked away from the Cubs winning a World Series. Yeah, open the bar on that. Call you know idiot I'm bar that, and grill. I'm that, <laughs> idiot I'm, bar and grill. Right. And he's the guy at the end who's crying in his right. beer. I'm that come, guy. Come see Tommy Listella. Watch him weep at the right. end of the bar. Some guy walks in like, hey, what's wrong with that guy? He's oh, got a nameplate. He's an idiot. Says, <laughs> he's got a nameplate that says, I'm that guy. Right. Right. That's It's it's idiot. It, over it, Hey, you want to go over to idiots and have a couple of beers? <laughs> That's right. I hear idiots going to be over at idiots tonight. It's a club. It's the idiot club. <laughs> Hi, I'm Tommy, and I'm an idiot. Hi, Tommy. Yeah, I was uh, I was making a lot of money, like six hundred grand, just to be in the big leagues, play once in a while, get a hit once in a while, and they asked me to go to Des Moines for three weeks, and I said, "Well, I don't want to go." And they I said, "Go to Des Moines, forget that." And uh, it ruined my life and my career, and I'm an idiot. Yeah, there has to be something wrong with him. I mean, because there's no, there's no other logical explanation for this behavior. And starting to talk about retirement at 27? Right. I'm playing for the Cubs or no one. Okay. That's, uh, okay. That that's, makes sense. Yeah, that's so you know, gonna, and gonna just, be no one. Just so you know, too, I did, I did reach out to, I think it's the, what did I say it was? The Beverly Hills Sports, Sports Council. Council. Yes. Yeah, those are, those are, those are the people that represent Tommy Who's their main guy? Thurman? Is that their main guy? Uh, Thurman or Horowitz, maybe? Probably Horowitz <laughs> and uh, Horowitz, Horowitz, and, and, <laughs> and an Irish Stella. guy. Uh, and so I've I've called them to to get someone to come on to to talk who represents Tommy, and no one's called back yet. Because what are they going to say? I well, mean, I, that he's mentally t- insane. They're right. not going to tell us what they told him, which is go to Iowa. Right. What are you, you idiot? doing? You're messing with our money now. I mean, if, even if they looked at him potentially as somebody who could be a, more of a breadwinner for them, I mean, it's yeah, he, no, six percent of Tommy, six percent of Tommy Listella right now is nothing, right. but six yeah. percent of Tommy Listella, if he wins a World Series, could be right. I mean, could also parlay into three years at five a year at some point. All someone needs to do, Barry, is sit him down and show him the eighty-five Bears, and then all the endorsements that those players got Henry afterwards. Wechter, it's the Henry Cubs. Wechter got a right. safety and got commercials. Right. It's the Cubs. I mean, what would happen? All of these guys would be celebrities for the rest of their lives. I mean, you know, and he's a, he's Look a, at David he's a, Ross. He gets, he's got his own songs. He's going to have, have a TV show. It's like he's a cult leader at this point. I, when he walks out on the field, people go insane because he's old. I, and they, <laughs> I'm old. They don't, don't do like for me. they don't like you though. I mean, and you just, and just, just imagine how Ross will will turn this championship in to a, a career after after baseball. He won with the Red Sox and the Cubs if they were to win this year. And Listel is going to walk away because of Des Moines. <laughs> I'm sure Des Moines is a fine city. Yeah. It is. You know what? I've recently read on read some articles about what's happening. It is what's happening. It, it, it is a resurgent <laughs> and popular and tremendously well engineered city. What they've done. You know, it's funny. It's funny there. Yeah, it, it, no, the sound really. quality is great. I always look for a well engineered city no, when I'm trying it, to find a place to raise my family. No, what I'm saying is the way what they've done with that city to create a vibrant. Arts community, what yeah. they've done with the design. Well, there's nothing worse than a poorly engineered city. Like you walk and the sidewalks just collapse. You, you're driving through the streets. You know, Main Street just collapses under your car. It's poorly engineered. <sighs> Buildings to, fall apart. You, you try to compliment Des Moines and you can't even Mixed do that. Mixed minus is all off. Yeah. <laughs> right, too much bass. Everyone sounds like this. <laughs> I like the idea of Tommy Lestella going, Hi, welcome to Des Moines. going back home to Mo- Montvale and opening up idiots. <laughs> Hey, come on down, the idiots. We got, we got some beer. We got, we got to play darts. Welcome to play darts over the idiots. Playing Glory Days on the jukebox <laughs> oh, on a constant loop. Bruce. It's only Bon Jovi and Springsteen. As, yeah. long, as, as long as there's no U2 on the jukebox, no, we're good to go. No, not, not at idiots in Montville. Right. <laughs> yeah, I'm opening up a new place. Yeah, this is all my baseball memorabilia over here. Yeah, it was, uh, it was it was pretty awesome. These are my two years. No, every uh, every bartender and server is like, if you see Tommy, you cannot bring up the 2016 Cubs. Don't talk about yeah, baseball. You cannot with talk him. about the Cubs. I picture Mickey Rourke in a corner, just face down in a pile of nachos. 
I don't know why. It's his Braves jersey over by there. That's what he wore. That was 2014. He wore that when he played for the Braves. They went to the cover. Oh, yeah, they're supposed to talk about.